Hello, welcome to another video from Zinchurai. Walk about town. Let's do this. Hello and welcome to another video. And uh, well, of course, as you can see, I'm on foot because my car is once again going for some TLC. It's having a new radiator to put in. Of course, you get rid of one problem and you present it with another. Yeah, I got the clutch fi fixed last week and this week. <laughs> and now it needs a new radiator because the car kept overheating. Hmm, not thinking you want, not the kind of thing you want to happen, is it? Well, today I thought I'd uh, take it down one of the longest streets here in Lee. And, uh, well, where, where can we go? Yeah, I wonder. Well, let's go in there. In fact, I thought I'd take you down you know, Charles Street. So let's go. Well, here we are. We've just come out onto Lee Road here. I'm going to try and cross over here. But it's safe. You know, I think it's, uh, we're going to go on the full length of Charles Street. Now, yeah, there used to be a row of houses there. But of course, they were knocked down. And of course, as you can see, it is now a cars bought for cash. All RAC approved. All approved by Great Dung Cover, of course. Yeah. Oh, wow. And of course, walking, just walking along Lee Road. And of course, uh, at one time, there used to be about three or four buses that used to come down this road. And of course, now there's only two buses that run along here now. Yeah, as you can see on that bus stop, there's only two. The 516 and the 582. Yeah. So, yeah. God, what the buses used to run along here, well, was the five, well, was those two bus services I just mentioned. Uh, 516 and 582. Also, there was number 35 and number 39 that used to run along here. Yeah. But, uh, with this, whereas well has been the route to Manchester, route to Bolton, there was also a route to Manchester via Tilsley. There's a little bit down here now, as we head this way, along Orchard Lane. Yeah, I might do a full vlog of, vlog of Orchard Lane at some point. Walking along here that's sometime in the near future. Who knows? But this is just part of, yeah, of course, uh, this end of Orchard Lane is all nice, smooth road. But uh, the rest of it, <laughs> it's really treacherous. Great if you've got a, a four wheeler, you know, with big chunky wheel, but. If you're in a low floor car, forget it. It's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're probably okay on two wheels, just navigating around the potholes. Yeah. Someone's left a ball in the middle of the street there. Just past Alfred Street. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's one of them. Yeah. We went into one of the streets that was quite long. Or is it this street and the next street? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is this. Well, that's Hope Street, another one of the longest streets in Lee. That's uh, some people have used a shortcut to come down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna come down. Well, this is just like a side street that's coming. Yeah. Led, that's Ledbury Street. Well, of course, that used to be at the site where the old ambulance station used to be. Because the ambulance station used to be there a long time ago. That's where it used to be. Well, of course, not where it is now. It was like a, I think it was a garage. I think it's just a kind of garage now. I think. I don't know. Well, anyone can comment below what it is now. Please let me know. Oh, well, here we're coming up to Charles Street now, and this is where the fun begins. 
<laughs> see how long this street actually is. Yeah. Of course, that road there is Orchard Close, just over there. And as you can see, uh, Orchard Lane is quite overgrown. But uh, we'll do that for another video for another time. Let's go down Charles Street. So, we'll have a screenshot sometime. Zoom in. That's Charles Street. <laughs> and here we are, coming down one of the longest streets in Lee. This is Charles Street. And the uh, thing about this street is that it's in two halves as well. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Of course, this is a uh, very po quite a posh looking street, too. and unlike uh, the other streets, unlike most of the other streets in Lee, which are all rows of terrace houses, here we've got detached houses. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. The thing about uh, this particular street, it's in two halves. We've got this bit here. Which uh, is going all like, like uh, I guess they're all like privately owned houses and that kind of thing. I think it goes like into a bend, which we're going to come up to in a minute. Yeah, uh, all the birds tweeting. Of course, immediately behind there is in fact uh, is uh, Lee Infirmary. You can probably see through the gap there. We can see it. That's the infirmary back there. Well, this reminds me a date with the podiatry. We've got to make a phone call for that because uh, I haven't had a chance today because, you know, it's been that busy. <coughs> yeah, it's been rush, rush, rush today at work. You know, non stop. All, all the managers coming down, little meeting. So we had to get everything spick and span today. But uh, that's the way it is in supermarkets, you know. Nothing out of place. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Uh, so, you know, the Charles Street is quite full because here it bends a bit here and it has a give way sign. So it goes, it's kind of, it goes a bit skew if, isn't it? Bends around a bit and then it carries on around the bend like this, as you can see. You know. Yeah. Quite a lengthy street too. Yeah. yeah. It's very uh distinctive isn't it? Yeah. Although it doesn't the street doesn't seem all that long really. But uh it is quite a lengthy street. Mm. Yeah. I was imagining these houses were built uh, somewhere around the time of the 1950s, I would imagine. So I guess in Charles Street, <sighs> didn't exist when like the Rock Hill Street and, and Holt Street, the other long streets in Lee, were were built. So this, uh, so this is probably, I guess that's probably a street that dates back to the 50s. I imagine so it's a street that dates back to the 1950s I guess some of the, some of the design of the architects of the houses you know yeah but if someone could comment below perhaps uh, you can tell me how far back how old are the, the, the houses along here yeah that's a stop it there I don't want to get people on camera if I can help it yeah oh, I suppose if people want to be Featuring in the video, it's up to them, you know. Yeah, say a few words. Yeah. Of course, I don't mind. Of course, we, we actually don't mind people coming in our video. You, know? you want to be part of it? You can do. Because YouTube is a community and channel after all. And, yeah, if you're not... Well, of course, you're camera shy. And you don't have to be on camera. Yeah. There's all the little garages there. Yeah. It doesn't really take all that long to come down the street, does it? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just 
but uh, mm. like I said, I've just been continuously filming now. This is right. Well, this is where the part of the street just crosses over the avenue. Uh, well, one of the oldest streets in town. So we'll probably do another vlog about that sometime in the future. I know they were driven down a few times, but uh, they are. Jeez, you're literally dancing with death when you're crossing over this road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Literally dancing with death. Well, of course, this is the other end of Charles Street as well. Uh, oh, this historical street down here. Yeah. So, uh, well, these houses are uh, probably uh, a bit, probably a bit newer than the houses we just passed down there. Uh, again, probably 1950s or maybe later, 1960s. I don't know. I know that the houses that we looked at on the Beamish 1950s era uh, was definitely had something very similar to this, you know. Charles Street. Yeah. Yeah, it's very just... Yeah, but that's how very quiet it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably not even looking what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just keep the camera steady. Yeah. The problem with doing this to the camera is that you, it becomes obvious what you're doing. That is why I wear this t shirt so that. Oh yeah, he's doing something for, for his YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I knew a couple that used to live down this street too. <coughs> Damn it, fucking fun. Whether they still do or not. Probably moved on since, you know what I mean? Everybody moves on. Yeah. Okay, I think. Now I've got to do some side street because you know I've done the town centre a few times. And I thought, well, it's nice to have something somewhere different. Yeah. Uh, well, here we're coming up to the part now where Charles Street would have continued. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I believe, believe that Charles Street used to continue right through to the uh, athletic ground, which is no longer there now, because the athletic ground, I believe, move to the elite sports village yeah but now we've got housing development here now which we're gonna go through to get to charles street at the other end <laughs> that's right there's uh, some why it's still called charles street it's like two halves i don't know why that is i don't know there's a little street that used to run yeah, quite a length we used to run through here but here we go, and uh, we have to go through precisely. There's this is the uh, this part of Charles Street here. Here we are on part of Holding Road. Now to get through the other part of Charles, we've got to go through Runfield Close. we in here. God, I have to be careful what I'm doing. Really shooting around here. Oh, someone's about to know this place. Yeah, we're going to what used to be part of the old athletic ground, and. Uh, yeah, he's having to come through here to get to the other part of Charles Street. You're going to come on a straight line. I well, say it's a nice day for a good walk today. Yeah, this was, the, as I said, this is the side of the old athletic plan that used to be called Runfield Close. Quite a, an appropriate name, really, because it was a running track here. Yeah, I always remember the uh, function room that used to be here, too, around this part. In fact, it was. Probably going down that way, really, where, you know... That one quick. Uh, I just remember there used, be a, as a, there used to be a function room around there. We used to have the Welcome Country Music Club, which uh, I used to go over most Sunday nights. I don't go there anymore. I mean, I love country music, don't get me wrong, but I absolutely love it. But, uh, there you are. But, uh... Well, it got coughing going every week. Well, here we come through 
one of the uh, back alleys now, which will lead you into Char the other part of Charles Street, right here. So, yeah. Yeah. I remember, of course, uh, for those who have just come across this video and think, oh, oh, I know that place. Remember, smash the like button, subscribe, tick the bell for more notifications if you can. Yeah. Because it does help the channel as well. Because uh, basically what I'm doing is showing everybody around Lee, my hometown. These are bungalows. I've been here for a long some bungalows, which is uh, Stowe Gardens. Uh, there, that's Stowe Gardens. Hilton Close. These houses are definitely brand new here. These are definitely brand new houses down here. Uh, they've been up there uh, not that long, probably. I think they've imagine they've been up there uh, oh, probably the end of the 80s, I would guess. This is the other end of Charles Street, which will take you right to the other end. Uh, right into the town centre. I walk in the middle of the road because I can do that because nothing's coming. Yeah, it's very quiet street. Yeah. There you are. I do believe that this is uh, the top of Henrietta Street. This. Yeah. Because down there, the buses just come up this way. I'm going to the doctor. Turn down at the bottom of the streets, as I recall. Yeah, it's, you know, the buses that were usually banned for Wigan via Goldburn, the 555. Who remembers that? Anyway, this is the other end. We're coming towards the town centre now. And uh, down this part, there is a lot more rows of terrace houses down here. Yeah, of course. I suppose if anyone knows why Charles Street is split up into two parts, please let me know. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah, because I imagine anyone outside Lee was looking for Charles Street and they came across the other end. They think, oh, can't find the number. Without realising that the street is actually in two halves. And they come across this. Yeah. There's a... Uh, Offices to let there. They're coming past the Pensions Link. Because the uh, Pensions Link is where I used to do, used to be part of a script writing club called Script Shop, which, uh, yeah, which was originally launched by Gary Boswell back in 1998. And uh, yeah, it was headed by. Uh, Michael Ed Jones, and then uh, Russ just took it over. We just decided to manage it ourselves. Yeah, of course, uh, Julie McKean, who was uh, a drama teacher, time was also involved in the project as well. A yeah, big shout out to her. I said she's watching my videos, <laughs> probably not. Anyway, we're well, coming up to this end now. Which a lot of these terrace looks like they've been. I've been renovated with new windows. You can tell they were old buildings but just modernised. Really? Yeah, of course. Very strong sunlight here. Yeah? I do apologise for the big strong sunlight. It is very sunny. But it makes a change from the rain, doesn't it? Yeah, we're coming to the end of uh, the street now. And, uh, yeah, no parking. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice, a bit of shade. Yeah, this is the top of Charles Street. Or near enough, and yeah, there's this. Wow, <laughs> just how long is how long is the street? This is probably one of the longest streets in Lee, actually. It's not the longest, but it's in, but it is split up into two parts for some reason. There's uh, James Brown's old office where he stepped down as MP, and of course. Uh, yeah. Yeah, got to, yeah, this is the top end of Charles Street now, the very top end, and we've got a bar called Yummy. Yeah, Chinese. Oh, it's a no, it's a no, it's a Yummy, which is a, a massage parlour. Well, we have a massage parlour. Not that I need a massage. 
<laughs> Maxine does it, didn't really give me a good foot massage. And here we have the secret ingredient. It's closed for this afternoon, of course. But there it is. That's the secret ingredient right over there. And the very top of the street, we have Papa John's, which used to be the site of, uh, what is it, Pramland? Do you remember Pramland? Yeah, remember the old guy used to, used to run it. And here we are, we've come to the top of Charles Street. Uh, yes, we've come from one end to the other. Three. Well, that was my little walk along Charles Street here in Lee. Uh, and of course, I was to go all the way from Oxford, well, it goes all the way from Oxford Lane. Is it, sorry, Orchard Lane, sorry. All the way on Orchard Lane. Right all the way up to Bradgate. And quite a lengthy street too. Well, part of it does split up halfway. So, well, more or less quarter of the way into Lee, where after the little ground used to be, and there's now housed in uh, property there now. Well, of course, if you like this video, you know, remember, don't forget, like and subscribe to Centuri. And then remember, keep smashing that like button and keep banging that bell for more notifications for future videos. And keep that channel growing. We'll see you next time on another video. Bye. Bye.